Please, Lord, give me a sign. A sign. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow. Welcome back to another episode of Lone Star College Football, where it's that time. Me and Logan, yep. we've talked trash to each other basically since the what the Friday after Thanksgiving of last year when Texas went and 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 you know got that dub against Baylor. And uh, <laughs> we're gonna do it again in a week. Let's just be real. Oh. All right, I'm a little too I'm a little too on to because to be <laughs> honest, I'm kind of concerned. The way we played against Wyoming in that first half had me first three quarters. Um Defensively, I feel great, but offensively, I don't know. Logan, what's your first impressions? First impression is that I don't think necessarily Texas has to worry uh, unless Blake Shapin and Dominic Richardson are healthy. I feel like Dom is a power back that we're going to need. Um, Richard Reese is fast, but if we're not doing the outside zone and our receivers can't block Ryan Watts and uh, Barron on the outside, then – that's going to mess with how Richard Reese runs the ball, especially if y'all played him like y'all did last year. Um, so I want to say our offensive line is looking better than what it did against Utah. Long Island is obviously not Texas. So high school team. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So we got our first one, finally. Um, we saw Dawson Pendergrass do pretty well on the ground. Uh, Sawyer Robertson threw under 50% for the second week in a row, but he did throw a touchdown. He did throw a touchdown. So against the high school team, yeah. Yeah. This is where you, this is where the crap's coming out, bud. It's I a confidence booster. I ain't holding it's back. Confidence booster. Y'all played a yeah, high man. school team and played <laughs> close until I mean you scored once a quarter. I mean except for the second quarter. You scored twice because you got a safety. <laughs> One touchdown yep. a quarter against Long Island is is it's not impressive enough for me to worry. The reason I'm worried has nothing to do with Baylor. To be honest, oh, yes. the reason yeah. I'm worried has I mean, everything to do it. with Texas. I get it one thousand percent. <laughs> we uh, rank number three in the country. First, this is the highest we've been rated since two thousand and nine, where we ranked number two going into that Alabama title game. Man, it's just. As a Texas fan, it's going to be a continue – prove it. I believe it when I see it. Prove it. And I'm not convinced that we don't drop a game as much as I want to be convinced. I just can't be. I'm just hoping, since we don't play Baylor anymore after this, I just hope it ain't this week. If we're going to drop one, I hope it is. just don't let it be this week. See, I'm uh, not confident in this game because of Baylor. And I would say it's more coaching staff than players. So I feel like we have great players as far as just spread out around the team. We don't have all the all of those uh five stars, the blue blood five stars and four stars that y'all have, but at the same time I feel like we do a pretty good job at recruiting and being able to fit our scheme. Now, the coaching staff I don't think fits our scheme too well. Hmm. But just like you said, I'm confident on the Baylor side because it is Texas. Yeah. Now, y'all are undefeated at the moment. At the moment, because we don't know how this is going to work. And we're one and two. Y'all have a lot to lose, but we have a lot to gain. Even if y'all play bad against us, it's going to look bad for y'all. Could potentially drop y'all a spot or two, maybe, in the AP poll. It just depends yeah. on how... Quinn plays. Quinn plays how the offensive line blocks. I mean, our defense, our defensive line's been getting pressure against Utah pretty well. Um, I think Utah's line was fully healthy whenever we played. But at the same time, you never know what Baylor's going to show up either because last week our defense didn't even want to play, it looked like, against Long Island. Hmm. I think um, – I think – Especially if Sawyer plays, we both have quarterbacks that have struggled. It's yep. fair to say Quinn played uh, just spectacular against Alabama, and you can say what you want to about them offensively, but defensively, I think they have a pretty solid defense. Um, played spectacular, and then comes out this week against Wyoming, goes like eleven for twenty-one, hundred and thirty yards and two touchdowns. Um, statistically speaking, Baylor gets more yards per game by about nine. 
mind you. Not bad. The competition bad. is a little. Texas has one of the hardest. Thus far in the season, we do have one of the hardest uh, strength of schedules. Um, we are getting nine yards less passing a game than us, but you're getting uh, about mm, 16 yards more on the ground rushing. Total yards allowed, though, y'all are giving up about 60 yards more than we are. Um, and a lot of that is on the rushing game because y'all are giving up 170 on the ground. We're giving up 96. And I think that's probably where this game comes down to. Probably comes down to the run game. Who stuffs the run? Whose trenches are winning? I personally believe that gives us the edge in the trenches. Yeah. Um, but when y'all make us throw the ball, what does Quinn do? When we make y'all throw the ball, what does Sawyer or Blake do? And and yeah, I feel a lot more comfortable about this game with Sawyer's plan than than Shapen, obviously. Um, but at the same time, even if it is Shapen, I think that helps y'all open up the pass game. Our defensive backs have been playing good. We're getting yeah. interception. Our defensive line is putting pressure on the quarterback. So, you know, this could be a game where I, if Shapin comes back, I hope he's fully healed because I can see him being on the ground three, four. You know, it's kind of hard to get to five in a game, but I could, I could see three or four or five maybe. I mean, um, that's that's where my main concern is. If he does play, is how well is he going to be coming off of an injury for one, and number two, in my opinion, a top five defense in the country right now. Yeah, currently sits. Yeah, absolutely. Um, And then on y'all's defensive side of the ball, the questions that I have, you know, we've got, we've got four receivers over a hundred yards and one of those is over 200 yards and Xavier worthy. Wyoming did pretty good at, at limiting Quinn. I will say in that post game show, we talked about four that I can think of off the top of my head, um, incomplete passes that were just because of the receiver dropping the ball. When you see that worthy stat line at Alabama at halftime, he's got like six for 75 and a touchdown. He didn't get a single catch the rest of the game because they double teamed him, and A.D. Mitchell scores two touchdowns in the second half because you can't double team everybody. I think that's going to be another mismatch for Baylor that if Steve Sarkeesian and Quinn can execute the game plan, get y'all backpedaling for these deep shots, open up the run game, and just kind of teeter-totter that, right? We've yeah. got the pass game's working. You can't stop it. Everybody's backed up. Now the run game. Oh, y'all move forward, pass it again. If we can teeter-totter that line, keep the game short. I don't want to shoot out in this one, especially if Shapin's in because he can sling it. We saw that what he was doing against Utah before he got hurt. Um, Texas and State. Texas State. Or he got hurt against Texas State. Yeah. We saw that against him. He was on pace for like 500 yards in that game. Yep. He, can, he can sling that rock, so – Short in the game. We also saw that against West Virginia last year before he got hurt on that uh, slide when yeah. he scrambled. I will say what would help me feel a little bit better as far as pass coverage would be if Devin Lemire is healthy. He's been out with a dislocated elbow since the Texas State game, so I'm not sure what his timetable is. Another guy, Garmin Randolph, coming off the edge. That would help me feel a little bit better as far as pressure and run stop. Um, we have a lot of young DBs. So, I'm concerned about our pass defense for sure. I mean, they've been playing really well. I, they played well against Utah and against Long Island. Texas State, not so much. But that was also a different group. We brought in some other guys, gave them a shot at the starting position, and it looks like they've won it for the most part after the Utah game. So, these guys are fast, but – they're, I don't think that they're Xavier worthy fast. Now, these guys also don't have the size of A.D. Mitchell. Do I think that they can cover Jay Witt? Yeah. Isaiah Nayor, Xavier worthy, A.D. Mitchell? Probably not. Hey, man, don't don't be hating on Jay Witt now. <laughs> I mean, he's like 60, dude. He's not 60. I will say this does benefit y'all. Um Cole Hudson, offensive lineman, he was, I believe, I believe he's the right guard. He did get injured in the game last week. I have, I don't recall what Sark said in his, um, 
Well, today's Sunday. We should get a we should get a press conference tomorrow and probably get an update on that because he probably had an MRI done today. the The way he kind of went down, it it looked pretty 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 potentially bad. So, praying that he's okay. Uh, even if he misses a game or two, hopefully he can come back and it's nothing too serious or he's out for a season. But that does make you know a little bit weaker on our offensive line at, at right guard instead of him. Uh, he's 6'5", 318. The guy coming in to replace him is 6'3", 343. So a little bit shorter but a little bit beefier. DJ Campbell, he's a sophomore. Boy. That's a big dude. Uh, so – my question yeah. with that would be it makes me go back to last year and wonder if Cole was the same guy that got hurt at the end of the first half where we got three sacks back to back to back. That's a good question. I don't remember who that offensive lineman was, but I want to say it was a left guard, not a right guard when that happened. Well, I know last year Hayden Connor got hurt um, last season but because I see the update here, but it was um, – October the 15th is when they're talking. That was after the Iowa State game. So I don't mm. know. I don't know if Hayden, if Hudson is the one that got hurt in that game or not. He is a sophomore, so it's possible we did. I think we did have a couple of freshmen playing on that line last year other than Kelvin two, Banks. And Kelvin Banks was like that guy. So far he still is. There's one. I think he gave up that one sack where he. Yeah, you know, on he, that miscommunication. Yeah, it was just is what it is. But. This is going to be a good game. It's going to be exciting. Um, you know, we're looking forward to this last matchup just between these two teams for probably a while, unless, you know, Beta no, just no, 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 this no. round makes it to a natty next year. Oh, uh, man, let's, don't, let's, let's, don't let's say let's, nothing let's. stupid. Don't say nothing no, stupid. No, listen, hear me out. Hear me out. Because Guys, this, he's gonna say something this, stupid one, while. this one could happen. All right. No, 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 no. Listen, even if we do, if we do lose to Texas, then we just run the table, and then we might be in the Big 12 championship. Doubt it, there but it we is. might. There it is. Yep. Call we it. might. It's a possibility. <laughs> Man, if, if y'all we run, run the table. Hey, if we, if we, lose, if we lose one Big 12 game. Y'all can make it. Y'all can still make the it. The only person in our way would be Oklahoma with their cupcake schedule. That'd be it. Well, we'll, we'll be the Oklahoma. They'll have one as well. We'll be undefeated, then, so I don't know how that'll work. But then It'll it would be still get French. Hey, man, don't get me wrong. I'm rooting for y'all. I hope y'all do run that table. And, uh, you know, that way I get to beat y'all twice this year. That's probably the easiest Big 12 matchup I could ask for. You, sh- to play. you sure you want to play Dan Miranda twice? You don't remember Oklahoma State two years ago? Dan Miranda two years ago ain't the same guy, but <laughs> <laughs> he ain't the same. I'll, I'll I tell you know what the difference I, is in that. I don't I'll know tell what you what happened. the difference is in that. It's trash. Is that <laughs> that's the difference? Texas Tech seems to have this coach that was on Baylor staff back then. He yeah. seems to be doing all right for himself. Mm. Um, j- well, this well, he did. He did last year. <laughs> he did last he did year. Last, last year he pulled it together. This year, you know, they whooped up on Tarleton State. <laughs> Good for them. <laughs> Uh, I want Joey McGuire. <laughs> I want him back so bad. Yeah, hey, but it's. I mean, to be our fair, defense comes out Tyler the same Shuck. way we did against Utah. I think that it'll be a lot better of a game. See, but I think Texas's offense is better than Utah, and then and once it that's Utah without I mean, yeah. Cam Rising. True, I'm just and saying. I'm not talking about the mirror and yeah. Yeah, go, I'm talking about more. energy. <laughs> If we just have energy, I think that will just pay dividends. I'm not saying this, we're just going to win us the game, but it will look a lot better on the field, and maybe Baylor fans won't be as upset about it. <laughs> Baylor fans. <laughs> Y'all got a lot to be upset season. about. I mean, this I season is just – just this season's – I don't know, I mean. As long as we win our Super Bowl – <laughs> that is, this would be it. <laughs> who's no, y'all's toughest? It. Who's the toughest other than Texas? Y'all play Tech, Kansas State, probably? Yep. Other Ooh, than y'all, we Missouri. still got, we've got 3 0 Kansas, 3 0 Oklahoma, 3 0 BYU. 
We play. This get if we, we go undefeated this game, last year. Yeah, did not beat BYU Sick. last year. No. <laughs> I was saying like the year before. You put that hammer down. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Hey, 14 and a half point favorites. I'm going to be real. I'm not picking Texas at the 15 point, almost 15 point spread. I wouldn't pick us to win by 15. Uh, not that I – what do you, you look confused over there. You going to pick Texas? I'm going to see where this line moves. If I can get this gonna, line to move. I'm going to have to figure out who's our quarterback. And if our – That's the question. I mean, Sawyer, I can see us winning by 20, 21, if, 30. If maybe. our best DB is healthy, it might sway it. If Blake Shapin's playing. That's the thing. I have to have Lemire – and shaping for me to be really confident in a chance to win this game. Well, That's here's the problem with that is uh, Dave Aranda probably ain't going to tell us that until game time. I don't know. That's the part that sucks. Because I mean, uh, why would he let the start the game bit. plan for it? Shaping was throwing the ball a little bit for warm-ups. He wasn't moving too much, obviously. But he was what was his injury? Um, I just slipped my mind. Was that a high angle sprain as well? I think it was his knee. Hmm. Yeah, I think he tweaked his name. If he plays, if he plays, y'all's offensive line has to do him some favors and not let him get hit. Because uh, this Texas defense is we're we're head hunting this year. I mean, we've we got eight sacks on the season in three games. I'm not I'm not too upset with that. I mean, especially considering y'all have seven. Uh, but it's oh, it's, it's MCL. That's what it was. MCL. I don't know what I don't even know. It's, a, it's in in your knee. It's in your knee. It's one of those muscles. Medial collateral ligament injury. Those were pretty big words for a Texas fan. Good job. All right, bug boy. <laughs> I oh, mean, man. Common symptoms, knee swelling, locking or catching of the knee when you move it, pain and tenderness alongside the joint, a knee that gives way or feels like it's going to give when it's active or stressed in a certain way. Let's see, was there a... It says two to three weeks whenever they posted it. So, I mean, this, I mean, Saturday would have been two weeks. Yeah, it says... This would be uh, three. A mild MCL heals with one to three weeks. Grade two generally takes four to six. Grade three, six or more. So I guess they're looking at it as a grade one. I'm torn, I man. Be back, but I want. I want to play uh, y'all's best, and I also want to absolutely curb stomp y'all. So, <laughs> I mean, you're not confident either way. I'm more confident with Sawyer because I'm more confident that Sawyer coughs up the ball at least twice. Than, and Blake, I think Blake throws one. I think Blake throws one. I think Sawyer throws two or three. Makes sense. We haven't had a game yet right. this year without a pick. So we're better than Alabama. What are you talking about? Absolutely not. I'm just saying, if we score, Sawyer more Roberts than they one. scored against Joel. Alabama Sawyer Roberts. Sawyer Roberts <laughs> wouldn't start for, or Blake Shapin. I don't. I don't know if he'd start for Alabama. I don't know. I bet he's like Shapin is as injury prone as just about anybody. Very true. I mean, very true. Either way, uh, yeah, I'm not confident. You're right, but that that has a, that's just that Texas Longhorn PTSD, bro. If we won by 35, I wouldn't be surprised. So just don't if we won by three. I wouldn't points. be surprised. Oh, so don't spot us nine points. Beat y'all by eleven last year. Spot because the, because that's what I'm saying. If you spot us nine points, then y'all are gonna win. Don't do that. <laughs> We're gonna win. Y'all, hey, listen, 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 y'all can go into half. Y'all can go into halftime with the lead. That'll make Yo, me feel better. Make me feel great. We haven't gone into halftime losing yet this year. We've won all three. We've scored 21 points in the fourth quarter in back-to-back games, buddy. Listen, we, we ain't got have only, we ain't got we've only gone into half one time with a lead. We scored 21 points in the third quarter against Rice and then pulled our uh, our starters 
We scored 21 points in the fourth against Bama, 21 points in the fourth against Wyoming. We've scored more points in the second half this year than we have the first half. By all means, we'll let us have more the points lead in the second the half, half than what we have the whole time. There's potential for that. <laughs> Probably not, actually. We scored nine in this in the first. Oh, in the second half? Yeah, I mean, hey, 63 points. Have you all scored 63 yet this year? Probably. Doubt it. 30, 43, 61. Yeah, y'all scored. Y'all scored seventy four points this year, but pretty impressive, huh? No, I mean, with I that being said, Texas Baylor fans, y'all got to at least at least subscribe to the channel long enough to come back and watch our post game show because it's gonna be fun. If I can get Logan on, it might just be me talking. You know, you never know. We might we might have an update if we get any information as far as health. On our oh yeah, we can definitely if we yeah. If, I, I highly I doubt that Dave Aranda will, but if he comes out and says something on some health, we can we can hop on here and make another make another little video. Uh, mm-hmm. With that being said, appreciate y'all rocking with us. Until next time, screw bears, hug them orange. <laughs>